Okay, FAQ number 51. Uh, should Christians use instruments during worship? Okay, uh, I had a dear brother in the Lord ask me this question, said maybe you could do a study on this sometime, and uh, maybe I'll do a more detailed study at some point in the future. Maybe, maybe not, because music's not really my uh, thing as far as I, I have no musical ability. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Uh, I couldn't carry a tune in a bucket, you know. Uh, <clears throat> I don't have any musical abilities. But uh, the, this question comes up, you know, when you have Christians getting together, should there be any instruments? And uh, look in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 19. says here, Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. All right, so you don't really see any instruments in there. Uh, but the point is, you're actually seeing, you know, just your personal relationship. You're, to, you know, singing there and, and things, making melody in your heart to the Lord. So it's more of your relationship to the Lord. Okay. Um, but just because instruments are not mentioned does not mean, you know, that you shouldn't have instruments. All right. I mean, you can look all throughout the Old Testament. We're not going to go through the study here because it's a short little FAQ video. But all through the Old Testament, there's trumpets and timbrels and, you know, there's all these different instruments that are played of, as ways to worship the Lord. And I do believe that stringed instruments and uh, wind type of instruments are the appropriate methods of um, playing as unto the Lord. And, of course, that sounds, you know, kind of, well, that's not many. Well, think about that. Pianos are stringed instruments. They have the chords in there and the little, the little keys hit the... You know, when you hit the piano keys, you know, it's going in there to the little hammer things and you're hitting those wires. Um, so that's a stringed instrument. Um, violins are stringed instruments. Uh, cellos, fiddles, whatever, you know. I like bluegrass music, so fiddle. But, uh, you know, all those are stringed instruments. Uh, guitars are stringed instrument, instruments. Uh, I don't agree when you electrify the guitar because then you're adding something else to it. Um, banjos. I mean, there's a lot of good stringed instruments out there that you can play reverently as unto the Lord. Wind instruments, of course, trumpets, flutes, uh, fifes, um, trombones, uh, you know, tubas, whatever. French horn, you know, all those things. They can be used to bring glory and honor to the Lord. Uh, very beautiful music out there that's instrumental. Um, what about drums? You know, well, you're starting to get into some fleshly things there. I mean, any kind of fleshly music will have an overemphasis on beat, on the rhythm end of it. Again, you can listen to my study on the, the music thing there. I uh, can't think of what it's called right now, but I have a study on music. Uh, the Devil and Music, I think it's called, or something like that. Um, so, you know, you, you do have the thing there of using instruments for worship. But let me show you one danger about that whole thing. Back in your Old Testament, to Ezekiel, chapter 28. Got to see which verse it's in here. Um, verse 13, Ezekiel 28, verse 13. Thou hast been in Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone was thy covering, the sardius, topaz, and the diamond, the barrel, the onyx, and the jasper, the sapphire, the emerald, and the carbuncle, and gold. The workmanship of thy tabrets and of thy pipes was prepared in thee in the day that thou wast created. Verse 14, Thou art the anointed cherub that covereth. Okay, so, and it goes down through there. This is a description of Satan, Lucifer, before he fell. All right, and he is a as part of his, who he is, he has musical abilities, all right? Uh, kind of an interesting thing. You say, well, can you draw that out for me? No, <laughs> I have no idea what it would have looked like exactly. But Satan had musical abilities. And what did it lead to? Pride. And I'm going to tell you right now, there's a very great danger for anybody out there who gets into music and becomes very talented. At it. Uh, some of the most egotistical people that you'd ever want to meet are people that have a lot of musical abilities. I don't mean everyone. I don't mean every single person that's ever picked up an instrument is 
you know, worshiping Satan or trying to be like Satan. No, 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 no. I mean, there are people that are very musically talented and praise the Lord. They're humble, they're meek, everything, that's fine. But then you have some people, you know, that get up and they're very much talented with music and things like this, and it leads to a lot of pride. And I've been in plenty of Bible buildings over the years, uh, born and raised in them, and I've seen the uh, special music thing, and I've seen how that gets very, very prideful many times. And you get the person that did the special music, and people come up afterwards, and, oh, that was so wonderful, I never heard anything so good. Oh, well, thank you, well, you know, and, and you see that pride starting to go up. You know, and I've known, you know, I know of modern professing Christians that actually are paid to go around and put on their little musical performances. So, you know, should Christians use music in their worship of the Lord? That's debatable. Uh, the way I see it is that the Lord created the New Testament church to be flexible. Um, that's why there are no buildings required to worship together as Christians. Um, and quite frankly, there are no instruments that are required either. I mean, you had Christians meeting in caves, meeting out in the forest, you know, and, and I don't really see too many of them pushing around a grand piano, you know, so that you can play it for the hymns that morning, you know. Um, if you have a small little gathering there and somebody can play the guitar, acoustic guitar or something, or play, you have a young lady that can play the flute and play along with the music, um, okay, but um, I would really avoid the special music kind of a thing. Uh, it can get kind of fleshly. Even when the people that are performing it mean absolutely well and really their heart's in it for the right reasons, that they're trying to bring glory and honor to the Lord. Um, and especially when you have applause. I mean, that's just like really bad. Uh, and there's a whole lot I could say about that too. I, again, FAQs, I can't get into all the fine details of this thing. Um, should Christians use instruments during worship? Oh, uh, boy. <laughs> I would say that's up to the individuals. Uh, what's the spirit behind it? Are you doing the special music thing? Is there praise coming for it? Um, as more and more Christians get away from the whole Bible building movement and more and more Christians are worshiping at home, I think uh, singing together a cappella is going to be a, a, a practice that's going to increase. Um, I think it's a great thing. So, interesting question.